Welcome to the Ubersonic 4 review. What's up guys, welcome back to another Tweenerhead Tennis video today here on our channel. If you are new to the channel, hey, how's it going? My name's Phil, and this is where we get to talk about tennis in a more casual way for you guys to understand what's going on on and off the court, and just to have some fun with the sport of tennis itself. Today we have a shoe review. Today we have the new Adidas Ubersonic 4s, the Ubersonic Top Secret men's shoe. The why they call it top secret, it's because with this zebra-like camo, a lot of companies like to disguise some of their new products by not giving away its profile, its original colors, by putting the zebra print on it, just like Wilson did when it first had the clash. Just Adidas decided to keep this colorway because they wanted to make it that top secret look, which in fairness, it doesn't look that bad. You got some teal reflective pattern right near the heel and right on the ankle that goes all the way down right here. You got the three stripes classic look and even on the other side, you got some more teal, some cushioning around the heel of it. This part is very squishy. They put light strike right on the heel of it as well. I don't know if you can see that. My camera zooms in, it can't. Then you have the covers and protection all around the tip of the shoe that goes all the way around to the other side and lasts a little bit longer in my opinion that goes to about right here. But today we're gonna be testing it. My first impressions of the shoe when I first got them, I thought they were very loud, very different style of shoe, at least very outgoing in my mind, it's not like, oh, it's just a normal tennis shoe. Like, people will notice you with these shoes on. They will notice you with these zebras on. I tried them on last night just to walk around in, in the house. Very light, very comfortable. The way they described it, on Tennis Warehouse at least, is they took the best parts of the two and three. I currently use the Ubersonic 3s, which I very much enjoy. And it seems like when I first saw these, it's a combination of the two and three. And then once I looked at the description on Tennis Warehouse, it's exactly what they said. Because they took the top part, the ankle, no tongue part from the twos, and put it on. And then the bottom, the treads, is very similar to the to the threes that I use and the bottoms as well. It, there's a lot more cushioning on the insole right here too. Feels like court boost, not necessarily, what's the other one, ultra boost, but that court boost material that they're using, very squishy. So it's gonna, I wanna see how that feels when moving around on the court. Let me just read you the Tennis Warehouse review and profile that Adidas gave this shoe. The future of speed is here. Oh my God, that's loud. Adidas listened to your feedback and has the best traits of two and three, like I just said, to create the ultimate lightweight performance shoe, the Ubersonic 4s. Built off the same last as the Ubersonic 2, you'll find a glove-like fit on the and contour feel. Yep, right there. That's exactly what I was talking about. New to this update, the light strike, what I was seeing on the midsole right here, Provides loads of rebound and is softer and more responsive than previous versions. The lightweight prime knit, which is right here on the upper knit, right where the heel and ankle are, is sure to keep you completely comfortable and supported pair with the second layer of woven prime green materials for even more stability on more quick cuts. Interesting. Oh, you can even see on the yellow, you can see that lightweight material inside of it. You can't really tell, but you can see right through it to see that cushioning. I'm sure Tennis Pro Doc will cut this open and show you guys what it looks like inside. The description gives a reasonable reason why they kept with the two. I, a lot of people like the two. I personally like the two. Uh, when my roommate had it in college, I tried on his shoe. Very comfortable. Just like this, same thing on the inside. A lot of comfort, a lot of balance right here. And it's a little thicker right here. So you can try to put it on a little bit easier and it'll feel better on your heel when putting it on. But let's get straight into the Encore performance. I'm gonna switch it over to Encore Phil. Here we go. Thank you, Past Phil. I'm very excited to try these out. I just laced them up. They feel good. First impressions, when I first step, there is a little bit of a crinkle right at where your toes connect to your foot, just because I don't know if it's the size of the shoe or the way it's made, but for me, when I step, I can feel that coming up into my foot, but maybe that's just when you first put them on. I still need to adjust to it. I haven't hit a ball yet with it, so we got the ball machine going. We're ready to test it out. 
let's see how it goes. I think for today, we're gonna test out how it feels on ground strokes. Then we're gonna do a little bit of running back and forth from the baseline, then some suicides. So we're gonna try to test out all of its flexibility just to see how well we can test it and how well it moves and adjusts. Because remember, I use the Ubersonic 3s. Ubersonic 3s have good grip, they can slide a little bit more, but the 2s have the comfort level that everyone looks for. So we're gonna see how well it does comparing to those two shoes and the combination that it has created with these shoes. So let's get straight into it. It's so dark, I'm so sorry for that. But so far, good grip, maybe because they're right out of the box. That pressure that I'm feeling at the top of my foot, I figured out why that is. Let me, let me show you. So right here on the shoe, there's the little plastic part, just like the same material that's above the black on the, insult, on the inside of the shoe, there's a little piece of plastic that's outlining all the grooves here for the shoelaces. And there's one that they made right on the toe. And for me, for me personally, that's pushing into my foot. That's pushing into my foot. And it's not bothering me just yet, but I, for me, it makes it a little bit more uncomfortable. We hit some balls, move side to side. Not too bad. Now let's do some running. Let's really put these to the test. So just from running, feels good, it's light, definitely lighter than the GP Turbos, the Nikes. Maybe not as light as the threes, but close to it. The comfort there, the comfort level around the heel and ankle, maybe just like the twos, because it's very comfy, don't have to, doesn't wiggle too much, it's there when you run, it's easy. It's easy to run in, it's light, but that, that thing is still bothering me. And I'm gonna point that out a lot if it still bothers me, to be honest. But so far, so good. I'm gonna do some lateral movement now, some lateral movement. So in terms of these shoes, look, probably the second comfiest shoe that I wear compared to the GP Turbos. The GP Turbos are my favorite to use on hardcore. Then 
I would put this at third just because of this part. I don't, I'm sorry, it's, it's really, it does bother me, but it is probably one of the comfiest shoes that you can buy right now because it does, and I think it holds up to the point that Adidas is trying to sell. It's the perfect combination between the two and the three because the bottom and the sides of it of the bottom of the threes, but the tops of the twos, which I, which I enjoy, which I kind of like. And the style, like I said before earlier, good style. People will really notice that you're using tennis shoes and are trying to stand out. If they come out in a different colorway, I think it's gonna do better because it's not as outlandish than this colorway. Because they have, these are like the Predators that Adidas sold for soccer. And they really almost copied it to a T with this. If you just put spikes on the bottom, it would be the cleat. But I do like it. I do like this shoe. I would recommend it as well. But one thing I do have to add is when you look at the laces, you know how Sissa Pass had trouble breaking laces and snapping them? I see why. They don't use the round, thick shoelace. They use a very thin. So if you slide and this snaps, you definitely need some new shoelaces because this is, like, I, don't, I personally don't like this type of shoelace because it's very thin in that sort of sense, but that's just something small compared to the overall state of the shoe, which is really good. Nothing else is wrong with it. I think it's a great shoe, and I definitely would recommend it to you guys if you do want to get it for a new shoe. So if you guys did like this video and you want to see more type of content, make sure you leave a big like on this video as well as making sure you subscribe to Tweenerhead Tennis. Make sure to check us out on all our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All the links to those are down in the description below. And I hope everyone has a great and safe day. Hope to see you soon. Thanks, guys.